much better shaving your nose off. That settles the nerves. You're only talking to them anyway, that's all. I know, it's just weird to think and that... People do it all the time. Right. No, you're right. I just never imagined myself one of those people. I'm one of those people. Would you have ever guess that? What? You are not. Bullshit. Take a look. Where? I don't see anything. Exactly. You had your nose done, honestly. Sixteen. It was my parents' birthday present. <laughs> Awful. Well, no, I asked for it. I had this um, terrible hook. The Jewish slope, we called it in Lake Forest. The only ski run for miles around. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't tell. Well, that's the idea, isn't it? Yeah, but you could be lying to me. What would be the point of that? To get me in here to watch chunks of my flesh get <laughs> torn away. Oh. You could be a sadist for all I know. Uh, don't sweet talk me. <laughs> well, they did an amazing job. Wait a minute, your name's Thompson. That's not Jewish. On my mother's side, you dope. Her maiden name's Tessman. Oh. We don't have to stay here, Adam. No, it's all right. It just makes me a little jumpy. Well, but it's cosmetic. It's not corrective. It's no if big it's deal. If it's cosmetic, why can't I just put some powder on it? Oh, or shade it in on the side like they do for Richard Gere in photos. <laughs> <laughs> you mean before. He had to. Mm -hmm. Take a look at American Gigolo and then any picture of him today. Seriously. But lots of guys do it. Joel Gray. Okay, that's it. No, Let's I'm go. kidding. Um, what about Sting? Yeah. I knew he did. Look, yeah. totally different in Quadrophenia. I used to rent that video all the time. My mod phase. Ooh, that must have been cute. Or don't you think he looks better now? I mean, Sting, I mean. I suppose so. Maybe it's just all that yoga, though. Oh, I think you're gonna look great. You got a good face and a nice shape to your nose, actually. It's just got that bit of a... What? You know, the... The bulb. You know, at the end? I mean, it's not a bulb, but you know, no, you cut the... No, I, I got it. Sort of the <laughs> Rudolph effect. <laughs> at least I can guide your sleigh tonight. <laughs> you can guide my sleigh any night. PDA. Indeed. Shall I check the men's room? I dare you. Shut up. I'm serious. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. I still dare you. What if they call us? What if they do? They'll just have to wait. Uh, I suppose they would. Can you afford to be late? That's the question. Will you take the risk? What, is this like my last meal or something? A conjugal visit before I'm drawn and quartered? <laughs> you stop being so morbid. It's just flesh. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's just flesh. Yeah. That's not morbid at all. What is it? It's one of the most perfect substances on earth. Think about it. Beautiful and I'd natural. I'd rather not. You have bitten off more skin from around your fingernails than a doctor's ever going to trim off your nose. It's true. Yeah, but but, but, that's... but that grows back and this wouldn't. That's about the only difference. How'd you get that scar on your back? Which? The... Yeah, the raised one. A kid uh, threw a stick at me in first grade. Stitches? Yeah, 33. And is that terrible? Are you disfigured because of it? Well, I don't like to wear tank tops. And you should be respected for that. I'm serious, it bugs me. But why? Because it's ugly or because you think other people are going to think it looks bad? Which? I don't know. See, what's the matter with scars? Not a thing. Hmm? Okay, look. Look at these. See there? There? What are those? They're scars, lots of <laughs> little scars. You didn't notice them before? Yeah. I guess I did, but I, I didn't think anything. Well, sure you did. I mean, of course you would, Adam. They're on my wrist. You know what they are. 
Did you try to? No. I mean, not really, you know. I, I cut myself a little and tried to get attention when I was a teenager, but I didn't want to slit my veins open or anything, or I would have. Oh. Well, I'm a very straightforward person. Yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah, that's the only way to be. Why lie? You're right. Exactly. So, is my arm unattractive to you then because of those or not? No. Are you lying? <laughs> no, of course not. I love your arm. Love is a big word. I know that. That's why I used it. I don't throw it around. Believe me. Me either. I love your arm. It's beautiful. <laughs> They're like rings on a tree. They signify experience and make us unique. I can see that. Well, and that's all this is. This idea of you having some surgery. It's an experience. I know. It just makes me... What? Makes you nervous? Well, you should be nervous. It's something you've never done, but that's the adventure. Mm -hmm. It's a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done. What's that? Is that, is that from a book? Yeah, Dickens. <laughs> I don't know about better, but at least different. So, are you going to go check? What? Do you mean the restroom? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if they call me, though, seriously? What if they do? I smell trouble, which I may not be able to do after this. You just go. Okay, why not? Uh, then, can I show you something? What? Just a little thing I had done for you. Wait, what? Show me now. Adam, we... Look, a big religious no-no. <laughs> nice, huh? Uh, eat? Okay. <laughs> you couldn't afford the meat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you goof. Your initials. Like it? Love is a big word. I know that. That's why I used it. You know, go check the um, handicap stall. I'm suddenly very hungry. 